Good evening, everyone. My name is Camilo Gomez, and I'm here to talk to you about News in Spanish. So News in Spanish is a service that uh, will help people learn and practice their Spanish with tidbits of news stories that they can relate to. And the way that we want to do this is through audio downloads and uh, online tutorials. But let me step back one moment and tell you how this all started. It started out with a newsletter that I'm still uh, sending out uh, every day of the week except weekends. And basically what I do is I take a tweet or a post from social media. I give, it's, it's written in Spanish, I give context about it in English. Then I translate that tweet or a piece of information to Spanish. And I explain like a grammar point behind that uh, segment of information or some difficult word or some idiomatic expression. And uh, so far, well, this has been the pilot and we've done pretty well. Like I started with a very small group of people and just through word of mouth and uh, social media mostly, like I've been able to draw attention from, from others and I've been having, having like feedback on it. Um, so in the US, there are more than 2.8 million adults who are learning Spanish at this moment. Uh, the number is greater if we are talking about like oh, the, um, the whole Spanish, uh, the whole number of the population that's learning Spanish. Like it's around 7.8 million if we include uh, uh, teenagers, like high school students and also uh, college students. But this is my target audience, like the adults who are paying for lessons because they, they need to work, to do something that's related to work or travel to a Spanish speaking country. Uh, so I'm thinking about, like this is a projection into the future, like how would the revenue streams look like? So I think that I, I would be getting around 70% from audio download, downloads, 25% from the tutorials and 5% uh, uh, from advertisements. Uh, but what does this mean? This means that there are several steps that I need to take in the following months. Like I need to contact uh, organizations that I can partner with. Like for instance, if there's anyone in the audience right now who is a Spanish teacher or who works uh, like at, at an institution that teaches the language, I would love to talk to you. And uh, I need to design the products that I will have people pay for while still uh, sending out the newsletter as a marketing tool and as a means to expand my audience. Uh, so I have a little bit more time, like one minute, so I'm just going to say that, well, a little bit about myself. Uh, I'm a journalist and I'm a native Spanish speaker and I'm also somebody who has learned foreign languages and has been confronted to a situation where uh, you want to learn about the culture of the country that speaks the language. And one of the best ways of doing is, this is through the media, by consuming uh, the media of the people who speak this language. And uh, because learning a language is not only about learning uh, words and uh, increasing your vo vocabulary, like there are many tools out there, especially like online tools that will help you increase your, your vocabulary. But in order to really understand the language, you also need to understand the culture of the people who speak that language. And that's why I would like to invite you to have a look at my archive in, um, in the website newsinspanish.strikingly.com. And you can also subscribe to the newsletter if you're interested in getting it. Here's my contact information. Uh, thank you very much. Oh, and, and by the way, there's a printout of one of my newsletters somewhere on the table if you want to grab it. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Any questions for Camille? Before you sit down. Yeah. Any questions? <laughs> Great. We'll have a question period after this one as well, a concluding one. Um, and last, but most certainly